So here's a look at the HP MJF 5200 series printer. The MJF solution that is offered by HP offers a whole lot of benefits depending on what your workflow is, how you want to integrate this level of additive manufacturing into the business. The main thing is you have a lot of different material availability. With that, HP offer PA11, PA12, PA12 glass bead. You also have polypropylene and then a TPU, which gives you a lot of flexibility as well. The HP MJF machine is targeted to replace polymer manufacturing as a whole. Okay, It's a manufacturing solution, can deal with mass production, and it's fully customizable as well. The beauty of the MJF 5200 is that every build that we produce on here can be completed in 11 and a half hours, and then we take it out and it goes through its cool down cycle. The beauty of having the control and knowing that every build is going to be 11 and a half hours means that we can really, really gear this up for mass production. It can run 24 seven, it has an OEE value to really make sure that you're hitting those production deadlines, and it gives you complete geometric freedom with products, which means you can design the product, not design parts for your, your manufacturing process. The way in which that we can really benefit through this is by using some of the different materials, but also using design techniques that can really, really push what's possible through HP. A lot of focus now is being pushed onto generative design, which means we can really, really make the most of having a homogenous part in all different orientations. So by having this machine coupled with a really, really useful design software means that you can really start to push the envelope of what's possible from manufacturing. The full manufacturing solution from HP is covered by a couple of different units. So the full package would include the HP 5200, which would be the base unit of the machine. We then also have this machine right here, so this is our processing station. This handles the loading of materials into the build units and allows us to also extract the builds once they've been completed as well. It keeps a full tag of how, how the prints progressed and also then it means that you don't take them out prematurely and make sure that the builds are fully killed before we start to, to see what's, what's inside. Alongside these two units, we also have the build units. So these will be material specific and that allows us to load in the material here and take it from the material station and put it into the HP. That then means we can have multiple build units or even go a step further if we want to gear up for a huge, huge production. And we go from the 5200 up to the 5210 and we can look at natural cooling units so we're really, really capitalizing on what's possible from this technology. Other ancillary products that we're going to need will result in a, in a shot blaster, an anti-explosion vacuum and a compressor as well as a conditioning for the room that it's going to be in. Once every part's been extracted from the processing station, we then need to take it in and shot blast off any of the excess powder so that we're left with what we would class as a green part. All the green parts can then go through ne any necessary post-processing, whether you want to paint them, dye them, or just leave them as they are, depending on if they're going to be customer visible or just a, a part that's going to be used behind the scenes. The choice is entirely yours. As we empty out a build unit, there's a lot of excess powder that's we've not been fused together during the process. So what we'll do with that powder is it goes back into a storage tank and then as we load in for the next build, we then put 20% of the new powder and 80% of that powder that's come out of previous builds so that we're kind of recycling that back through the system as many times as possible so that we're keeping things nice and green as we're producing these new components. If you really want to take your manufacturing to the next level, then get in touch with the team at 3 dgbre or your account manager and we can look at how we can help you integrate HP into your standard workflow.